Hi, welcome back to Mama Bear's channel. So today I'm just going to show you a little bit of my wool collection here. These I usually use to make sweaters, afghans, hats, stuff like that. Um, I, but today what I am going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to make a cotton dishcloth. I know it's really simple, but a lot of people ask me, how do you make those? So today I'm going to show you. Stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is what we're going to make. We're going to make these square, simple little dishcloths. So what you're going to need is you're going to need your cotton. I like this one the best. It's um, it's a four medium, and you're also going to need a size five knitting needles, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. That's all you'll need. So. Let's get started. Okay, so, so let's get started. We're going to make a loop. Put it on. I like to knit my stitches on. And all we're going to do is put two stitches. Just two. I also like to take my tail and just tie it up so it's neat and it doesn't get in the way. All right. So regular knit. You're going to knit one. You're going to yarn over and knit the last one. You're going to turn your work. You're going to, so you're going to turn your work. You're going to knit one and you're going to yarn over and knit to the next one and knit the next one and you're gonna turn. So basically, back and forth to get the size that you like to have, you're gonna knit one, yarn over, knit to the end. Always starting with a knit one, yarn over, knit to the end, always. till you get to the desired length that you'd like to have. So very simple, knit one, yarn over, and knit to the end. And what this is doing is it's creating your little holes here. So you're starting down here and you're making the size that you want. Now you go ahead and get to the size you want and I'll be right back to show you how to finish it. Hi guys. Well, I'm not going to go as big as what I usually do so I can show you how to finish this. So what you're going to do is you're going to knit two together. The first two stitches you're going to knit together. You're going to yarn over and knit two together. And this is going to take it down so that you get that triangle effect and knit to the end of the row. So knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, and knit all the way to the end. So the beginning of every line, you're going to knit two together, yarn over, knit two together. And you'll see your work, your work will start coming in like the dishcloth that you're looking for, the triangle shape. And when you get down to the end, you'll have three stitches left. Okay, so I'm down to the last four stitches. So what you're going to do is you're going to knit two yarn over, knit two together, and then you're left with three stitches. Knit two together, yarn over, knit one, and then what you want to do is you want to knit all three of those stitches together. Okay, and then you're going to pull up you're going to cut your work, pull your little tail through, and you're done. Now I made a small one because my daughter likes to play with her American girls, so I always make her washcloths for her dolls. So what you want to do when you're done, just get your needle, put it in, and I try and hide them 
in between the stitches. So you just want to, uh, there's no certain way of doing this. It's just the best way you can to hide your uh, ends. Go back and forth. I tend to go back and forth a couple times. So I know for sure it's secure and in there. And then just cut your thread. And away you go, you can wash. Now what I have an idea, I made three of them and I put them in a little sack like that and you tie some ribbon around it and it makes a good little gift for somebody. But next tutorial I'm gonna do is on this uh, beautiful baby's blanket I made. And uh, it's called the basket weave or the waffle stitch. Sorry, not the basket weave, that's the next one. This is the waffle stitch. So next time you can join me and we'll make a waffle stitch blanket together.